Hello, uh, hello everyone. <laughs> hello everyone, this is John Jenkins and I'm bringing you a video. So I'm working on the second half of my universal uh, number base converter. And I, I know what you're gonna say, there's like there's like a million number base converters on, on the internet. So I could probably just, you know, get a tutorial or something like that and just learn, learn from the tutorial. But I wanna learn from scratch. <laughs> So I, I, I was able to get, uh, a couple of years ago, I was able to get the first half done. I was able to get the first half done a couple of years ago. And so I can, I can, I can convert from any number between uh, base two and base 36 into base 10. I can convert any number from base two to base 36 into base 10. And possibly up to I can possibly get up to 62 I believe yeah I think I can get it 62 uh, up to base 62 so I'll, I'll be able to uh, convert from any base uh, from base 2 to base 62 into base 10 so right now I'm working on the second half so basically you know basically there's two halves the first you you have you know you you, you first take the original number, you convert it to base 10, and then you take the final number, you convert, convert it into base, uh, into the resulting base. It could be 10, it could be any base. So, um, so, so I'm working on it right now. So. Here is my thing that I have so far. Uh, okay, so you see base uh, base base converter second half O2. So this is the latest version, and I have I'm gonna put in the number three oh eight. I know I know I keep using the same number for this. So I put in the number 308, and what is the base you are going to? I'm gonna say base 36. From base 10, uh, I'm starting off with this, with, with the second half, I'm, I'm assuming that you're starting off in base 10, and I'm moving from base 10 to base 36. So, all right, please press enter. Okay, so the result is check num equals three, uh, 324, and i equals nine. So basically, what that means is, as you can as you can tell, as you can probably tell, I'm using a for loop. Uh, I'm using a for loop. I was using a while loop uh, for a while, but that didn't work out. So I'm using a for loop, and basically what I'm doing is that uh, so basically I need a way to calculate. I need a way to calculate to to convert from base ten to base thirty six, and the only way to do that was that. I had to uh, add. I had to add uh, powers of the base. So, so basically, basically, I had to add up. I had to add up the. I had to add up the numbers until they were higher than the original number. So that I would know. So that I would know uh, how. So that I would know the best way to. So that I would be able to calculate, so I, so that I would so I'm I'm adding up the numbers to to surpass the original number, so that I can see how to convert the original number into the new base. So I'm, so 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 this is base thirty six. So this is base thirty six, and uh, so thirty six times thirty six equals 324 so uh, I'm sorry yeah I'm sorry 36 times 9 36 times 9 e equals 324 so 36 to the 36 to the first power 36 to the first power times 9 I am I am I am cheating a little bit because I didn't start with 36 to the zero power because you know, powers are uh, 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 
number bases are zero index, so you have to start with zero. So, so you have to start with zero. So, but I started with one because I knew for a fact that uh, thirty-six to the thirty-six to the zero uh, would just be one, and the the maximum in, in the in the maximum number in the zero uh, the zero power would be thirty-six. So there's no way that you know. I, I knew I knew that you know I knew that basically that 324 was the closest to uh, 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 308, so that was the reason why I skipped straight to the first power of 36. And uh, so uh, the first so it's it's the first power of 36 times nine equals 324. Uh, so basically, uh, nine times thirty-six equals three twenty-four. And so basically, now that now that I'm a, a little bit ahead of now that I'm a little bit ahead of uh, 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 thirty-six. I'm sorry. Now that I'm a little bit ahead of three hundred eight, I can say I I can I can say well, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna subtract. Uh, I'm gonna subtract eight times thirty-six, which is. Let's see. Eight times thirty-six. So I'm going to subtract eight times thirty-six, which which is two hundred eighty-eight, and then I'm going to have twenty left over. So I'll have in in the in the in the uh, in the uh, uh, so in so in base thirty-six. I already I already know the answer to this question. In base thirty-six, the uh, in base thirty-six. 308 would be 8k 8k so basically um, basically you know it would be in in the in, in the in the first power of 36 it would be 8 because you you're getting up to 288 and you've got 20 left and then 20 in base 36 would be k so in the in the zero in the zero power so you start you, you you know numbers numbers go from high numbers go from high to low so the first number on the left would be the would would be the base the base one uh the uh, base one uh, number the base one digit and then the second number number uh, to the right of that would be the base zero digit which would be uh uh, uh 20 in base 36 which would be k so that's what I, that's what I've got so far, and I've got a lot of programming to do. This is going to be really hard, and then after I'm done with that, I'll be able to uh, combine the first, the both both halves of the number base converter, and I'll be able to see if I can uh, improve it because you have you know basically you have uh, uh, the 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 blind spot is that you have you know you have base one and base zero. Which I, I didn't I didn't think about this, but yeah, if you have base one and base zero, which uh, which uh, unless I just want to prevent people from uh, using base one or base zero, uh, and then you have you know I, you have possible negative bases and stuff like that, and and it, it really gets complicated. So I might just restrict all that out of there. But right now I'm thinking that I'll I'll at least have base one and base zero. So basically in base and base one any number is, is represented by a one and base zero any number is re represented by a zero. At least that's from my understanding. Yeah. <laughs> so um uh yeah. So that's all I wanted to say and thank you very much and goodbye.